Today, I'm breaking down a common stovetop phenomenon, the Leyden Frost Effect. Maybe you never heard of it, or realized it's happening in your very own pan. But by the time I'm done today, you will never forget it. All right, so, uh, Joan, I'm yeah. excited. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. I want to show you something cool. I know you are an expert in the... Um, in all things culinary, but I've got some cool tricks up my sleeve too. Just squirt a little bit into that pan. A little? Oh yeah, 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 there you go. People sort of expect water to boil, yeah. but it doesn't. You notice how it's all, like, it's forming little bubbles, right, and kind of rolling around. No, no, but it, yours is it's supposed to bubble like mine. There you go. No, no, but you gotta get it to bounce like his was. I'm sure I can. No. So what's happening here? I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, no, you're not, there is something important that's different between these two pans. This is actually heating. This is heating now. Heating. This one was heated. Yeah. And I that's think, right. I think you're right. The heat yeah. is really crucial here. For us to get the water to bounce sort of on the surface of the metal, it has to be at the right temperature, specifically right. something called the Leyden point. The Leyden point is a temperature significantly higher than a liquid's boiling point. At this temperature, a thin layer at the bottom of the droplet will turn into vapor, causing the water droplet to float on a layer of its own gas. But what would happen if that liquid was encased in a shell? So these are Orbeez. They're sort of a, a polymer, a ball made of polymers, and they are really good at absorbing water. We're gonna try a test where you drop your Orbe in this Out pan, here. and uh, what do you expect to happen? Well. I guess it just kind of bounces for a bit and then goes back to normal, right? Yeah. If we put an Orbi on this pan, what do you think will happen? It will bounce. Oh, wow. Okay, and then it stops bouncing now. That goes on? Now. That goes on. Yeah, it goes on for like, for like ever, right? Yeah. And so why doesn't it stop bouncing on this pan, but on these ones, it goes back to normal. Have more temperature? Exactly. Um, we have achieved the laden point. And why is the question. So what do you think? Because the water inside. Yes. These cannot evaporate like our water droplets yeah. were before. All they can do instead is expand and contract. Now that was cool with water, but we're not gonna use water. We're not gonna use Orbeez. We're gonna use something way different, something way cooler. Okay, so what we've got here is liquid nitrogen. And if you look inside, it looks like it's boiling, and it is. But the weird thing is, it's boiling at negative 196 degrees. This is really cold, but that is the temperature that liquid nitrogen boils at. Um, and so, relative to the temperature, this, this surface is super heated. It's really hot, which means that we can get the Leyden frost effect. That liquid will flash boil on the surface here, and it'll float around. Awesome, right? On like clouds of its own gases. Let's spray water across like this half of the table. You guys just coat it all in water. As we put water on the table, it'll start to evaporate slowly, which means that the concentration of water in the air becomes a bit higher. And as our liquid nitrogen passes over it, something cool happens. As it goes from the dry stuff to the wet stuff, you should see Whoa. these trails that start as it passes over the water, condenses it into clouds. Oh, yeah. And you can get like these awesome, awesome patterns. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Now I want to like, kind of end our experiment with some real fireworks. So can you coat the whole table in water now? Nice, even layer. Okay, because I want to end things with some real fireworks. I'm going to hold the liquid nitrogen up high. So you guys might want to, yeah, stand back. That's good, because it'll splash a bit. But if you do, you get these kind of explosions, which is awesome. It's so cool. Oh man, this is probably one of my best days ever in the kitchen. So cool.